So, heard you wanted a good leg workout. personal trainer and one of the founders of SF Fitness and today I'm going to teach you guys a leg circuit that's absolutely going to dominate your legs. What I like about this leg circuit a lot is that it's also going to be working on a unilateral movement, a bilateral movement, which is also going to be doing an isometric hold and explosive strength. So no matter what you're doing, it's absolutely going to destroy your legs. And the exercise we're going to do today are a goblet squat. And if you guys don't have any uh, dumbbells, I can definitely recommend not doing a back a barbell squat and a back squat. I definitely recommend doing a front squat, especially if you guys are all sports. If you want to go a little heavier and you're more focusing on the muscle, then I definitely rec I could definitely recommend doing a back squat just because you can put more weight on. But this leg exercise is going to absolutely kill. So whatever weight you're using, you're going to use a lot less weight than normal because we're hitting the leg in so many different angles. Um, also, the second exercise I'm going to do is a wall sit. So it's going to be working on some isometric strength. So it's going to be hitting your muscle from 15 degrees up to 15 degrees down, and that's where the pure strength is going to come out. So if you have a weakness in a certain area, that's going to absolutely hammer it. We're going to do a reverse lunge, which is going to work on that one side of leg, hamstring, glute, and the quad. So it's going to be really good, especially if you guys are into sports and you guys need a lot of unilateral movements and you're jumping on one leg. That's going to be a great exercise for that. And then the last exercise, which is going to pretty much wipe you out, it's going to be a jump squat. So now there's going to be three ways. There's definitely going to be three ways to do this exercise. If you're more focused on endurance, then this is going to be really good for sports. Um, if that endurance is your weakness, you're going to keep doing the exercise back to back to back to back. And there's going to be no break in between. Your legs are going to be absolutely hammered. If you guys want to do more for muscle building, I definitely recommend taking like a one minute rest. But since it's so rapid and it's like hit training, I definitely recommend walking at walking around, you just don't want to completely stop and you don't want to pass out. And if you're more focusing on strength, after you're done with the last movement, which is going to be the jump squat, I definitely recommend taking like a two minute break. And then you can go a little heavier with the weight, but you might at the end you might be doing a lot less reps with all the exercises. So you can either do a lot less reps or you can make the weight a little light, or you can make the weight a little lighter. So the first exercise we're going to do today is the goblet squat, and we're going to be hitting this for about 15 reps. So like I said, 30 pounds is a relatively light weight for me. So if anything, if you have to use body weight, definitely go for a body weight squat instead of doing a goblet. So the second exercise we're going to do today is a wall sit. Right now I actually have something in front of my feet to make sure my feet don't slide. That's probably one of the biggest problems with the wall sit. You're going to hold this position for about 30 seconds right after you do the goblet squat. So you goblet squat, then bam, you can go right here. And right now, my quads are probably pretty much like used to this a little bit, but holding for 30 seconds could be a pain. So if you can't hold for 30 seconds, go for 10 seconds, go for 15 seconds. And if you don't want to do 5 seconds, you don't want to do 5 seconds. Keep working on it, so you can keep doing more and more and more. Third exercise I'm going to be doing today is the reverse lunge. Like I like to do the reverse lunge a lot better than the forward lunge because it puts a lot less stress in the wing. The knee. So it's going to be one foot back, the other one stays in place, you squat down with your front leg, and then your knee goes down but it doesn't touch the ground. Bam, feel like all my 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 quad, my hamstring, my glutes. Then bam, you go right back up. And you're alternating legs. I'm going to be doing this one with weight, but if you don't have weight, then I recommend doing it without the weight. So I did about 20 reps of those, and then we're gonna go on to the last exercise, which is the jump squat. So I'm gonna do, be doing the jump squat on grass because it's a lot less stress than the knee when you're touching the ground. The grass is obviously a lot softer than the concrete. So I'm gonna end the workout, and then I'm a little unbalanced right now. Should be good right here. I do 10 jump. All right, so I pretty much just finished doing the jump squats. So my legs, I can feel pretty tense right now. And like I said, first exercise, goblet squat, 15 reps. If you want to go heavier weight, go for the back squat. That's going to be more of a muscle building aspect, and you're going to be waiting one minute rest after you do the explosive jumps. Um, second exercise, wall sit, 30 seconds. If you go longer, go for a minute. If it's too hard for you, go 15 seconds. Go as long as you can. Uh, third exercise, the reverse lunge. It's going to be hitting your muscle in a unilateral way, so you're definitely going to be killing the single leg. I feel a lot of my quads, but it depends on where you feel that most and what. Um, muscle activation is going to be dominant towards your legs. And then the last movement, which is going to absolutely destroy your leg, is going to be the jump squat. Just make sure when you're doing the jump squat, you're getting full range of motion. You're going all the way down below parallel. And then bam, it's floating right back up. If you can't go that low, I definitely re recommend using the box just so you can get that explosive strength and get that work done. And uh, like I said, if you're doing more strength, wait two minutes. And if you're doing more muscle building, 
wait one minute rest after you do the explosive jumps, which is the jump squat. And if you're more focusing on endurance, just keep going back to back to back. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna suck, but it's a really great exercise. It's got my legs sore plenty of times, and I've definitely seen an increase in my strength because of this workout. And just ever since I started doing strength and conditioning workouts, my numbers um, for strength have totally went up. My heaviest squat right now, uh, hitting parallel, is 275 for 10. I actually wish, wish I got that recorded. Um, that was the heaviest, that was the strongest. And that wasn't even the heaviest, I was only like 123 when I did 275 for 10. So these exercises are definitely going to help transfer into the strength world. And if you're playing sports, you're definitely going to notice a big, shift, a big difference in your performance during the game. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the videos. Please subscribe to, to our channel and check out our other videos. We'll be making a video pretty much every day, at least five times, every day, at least five times a week, at least five, five Monday through Friday. And we're going to try to push out week, uh, videos on the weekends. We're super busy. I'm a personal trainer. My friend, we also run the channel named Joel. He's a personal trainer too, so we have super busy lives. Got a bunch of clients. I gotta go train later, but hey, we're doing it for you. We're super passionate about it, and if you know, if you show us some support, we're gonna give you guys what you want. Thank you so much, and I'll see you during.